Hello everyone and welcome back to where we sometimes talk about thrillers on Thursdays and it's the weekend. I was going to be cleaning my bookshelf anyway because as much as it might not look like a mess, I tend to just shove and store things behind the books and I just haven't dusted it in maybe three months so it's about time. And I thought why not make it into a little bit of video and I came across the bookshelf tag. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip around and show you what it looks like now. So this is the before and this bookshelf is like a fake mid-century modern bookshelf from Wayfair and I wouldn't recommend it. It's not sturdy at all, but you know, it's done the job. I've had it for a few years. But as you can see, all the books are falling down. It's, there's stuff, again, as I said, shoved behind all of this. I would do one of those fun montages where I sort of set the camera here and clean and you see it all happen really fast, but I don't have enough storage on my phone, unfortunately, to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear everything off, clean it, put it back, and then we will film the tag. So everything has been cleaned off just dusted it. Those are the books I'm going to be donating. I didn't look too closely at all of these, so I'm sure there are others I might donate down the road. But those are all the books I have not read. These are the books I have read, and this is sort of a little bit of a mess. I will say, and I should have said this at the beginning, these are not all the books that I own. I would say half are at my parents' house, but I try and keep everything just within this since I tend to move a lot. Okay, that only took maybe 15 minutes or so, but here is the after. I'm sure it doesn't look wildly different but I'll talk through what I did. I am back in time to get into the questions and I should say first that I upload maybe once or twice a month. So if you do wanna get notified when I do post a video, feel free to hit the notification bell down below, but let's go ahead and get into the questions. I <laughs> misread this and just spent time counting every book because I thought the question was how many books, which the answer is 75. But of course I just noticed that it says bookshelves. If we're including the ones here in my parents' house, it would be three, but in my apartment, I just have one. I've mentioned mentioned this before in my channel many times, but because I went through a stage where with my company I was moving every eight months to every year, I'm not moving anytime soon right now, but I got really used to getting rid of books that I read and just not being a big book purchaser. And so unless it's a book that I absolutely love and it's a favorite of all time, I tend to donate books after I finish reading them. And number two, I've already answered because that question is how many books are on your bookshelves? So it's 75 in my apartment. The next question is how do you organize your books? And I'm always curious about this with other people and you can't see it, but if you go back and watch the clip where I showed everything done, you can. But this top row here are books that I want to read and I'm really excited about. This bottom row here are also books. That's not a book, it's just a book cover. But these are also books that I have not read yet. And then the bottom row are books that I have read. And I don't do alphabetical or color order. I am a little bit of a neat freak and like to keep things organized. I went through a stage where I would do the rainbow bookshelf thing, but I just, you know, it was more of a thing 2015 Katie would do <laughs> current day, just no way. Although I have to say I am very jealous, um, if I'm being very honest, of the booktubers who have multiple sprawling shelves behind them that take up the whole background of their videos and they've got them in alphabetical color order. More power to them, I think looks amazing. And I'm not saying that I'm, you know, a minimalist and trying to make this the ideal. It's just the state of me moving so much. And I'm very jealous of the people who have tons and tons of books. The next question is, what is the newest book on your bookshelf? And let me go ahead and grab it. Okay, so this is the newest book on my bookshelf and it is Autumn Crow by Cameron Chansey. I'll link his channel down below, but I did a my very first live stream with Cameron and Rachel from Shades of Orange. She was the host. We did a Halloween live stream, which I'll link down below. I was very nervous, even though I have to present live, obviously all the time. Well, I shouldn't say obviously. If you follow my channel, you know my main job is presenting for work. And, and I have a tips video on how to do that if you're an introvert. So I'll have that linked as well. But I followed Cameron's channel for years. But when I saw, I don't actually think he knows that I purchased, but after the live stream, um, Rachel had brought up Cameron's book and it just seems like the perfect cozy Halloween read. And I'm tempted to either read it now or wait until Halloween of next year because I didn't get it until after Halloween, but very excited for this. Because from what I've heard, it's a very creepy, but also it feels a little bit maybe cozy, short story, so really excited for it. Next is what is the longest book on your bookshelf? And I'm deciding between two, but let's check. So one is a book I have read and one I have not, but I have read House of Leaves. I have not read IQ 84, so let's see. Does, you know what, House of Leaves probably doesn't even have real page numbers, does it? 
Okay, House of Leaves is 709. I'm gonna guess, I, I, I'm just guessing by glancing at it, IQ at 84 is longer, but sometimes it's hard to tell. And this is 925. And let me know if you review books and if you feel this way as well. I'm gonna be honest, I think I should just donate IQ84 because part of reviewing books is putting out the reviews, of course, and because I don't read a huge volume of books every year, I just can't fathom taking, say for example, two months to read that book. So I don't know, we'll see, I might, I might end up donating it. Then is what is the shortest book on your bookshelf? And I have not, I think these are gonna all be in the category of books I have not read because I don't read many novellas, but I like to buy them. So I'm gonna go ahead and check. For what is the shortest book? I thought about pulling a real novel, but this is the honest answer for what is the shortest. And that is In a Dark, Dark Room by, Al by Alvin Schwartz and Dirk Zimmer. This has the infamous, let's go ahead and find it. Um, the infamous girl with the green ribbon. <laughs> Now, I don't really post on TikTok. I just mindlessly scroll. I posted a few times, and the one time that a good amount of people came across it was when I walked through the girl with the green ribbon because I think for many of us, it was a very formative, horrifying experience. And for many, it felt like a fever dream that we didn't think was real once we reached our 20s and 30s. So, and I remember I posted it and woke up and it had gotten to, I think a million or so. I'm not really positive, but this is the shortest one on my bookshelf. What is the predominant genre on your bookshelf? It's always tricky with the types of books I read because there's a lot of crossover between thriller, horror, and suspense or mystery, but of course, anything in that category. And then question number nine is, have you done a bookshelf tour? I have, but I want to say it was at least a year ago, but I could, it could have been six months ago. I don't know, but I'll post the last time I posted a tour here. Next, it says, go on a random number generator and talk about the book that corresponds with that number. The link, that, the link that's in it is taking to about 45 different links. So which one is just a random number generator? Okay, here we go. One, two, 75. And the number generated is eight. So let's go ahead and see. If it falls over one more time, I am giving up. <laughs> um, unfortunately, it's not landing on one that's very interesting to talk about. It was on my top bookshelf, of course, which is books I have not read, and it is Plays It Lays by Joan Didion. I'm gonna be honest, I bought this in a phase where I'd watched a documentary about Joan Didion and a lot of the tragedies and that occurred in her life, um, but nothing else to say beyond that. Do you think I'd like it if, since I haven't read it? Feel free to let me know. Number 11 is, do you have fan merch or any other decorations on your bookshelf. Does fan merch mean people who watch art, people who watch booktubers videos? Do that many booktubers have fan merch? Maybe that's not at all, oh, maybe it's things we're a fan of, <laughs> duh. Because I was really confused as I definitely don't have that type of fan merch and how many booktubers would, I mean, maybe, I mean, I'm sure some do. I'm not gonna pick it up because this falls all the time, but this might look like a book, but it is a fake VHS tape and it says my heart is a chainsaw my last video was reviewing that book and it's just very special to me and I'm and one of my favorite books and I'm so angry that I accidentally crushed it and again I don't want to touch it because if I touch it again everything will fall and it will just be further ruined and the last one was show us your bookshelf but I think I already did that back at the beginning you can see it's already falling apart even more <laughs> uh. But the only thing I will say I didn't mention is I have a few board games here, not a ton, and then some, whoops, which way, there we go, and then some PS4 games as well. I have been reading so many, and I'll mention this here because I don't think I'm going to film a goals video for 2022, but I have been listening to so many audiobooks and reading so many books and basically really using the Libby app, that library app. This is not sponsored, but if they want to, even though they don't need it, I'm sure I'm happy to, that I have been really neglecting my bookshelves. And that's the main reason I wanted to make these two TBR shelves so that when I finish the couple books I'm reading right now, it'll be really easy for me to just walk over and pick up a book that I have not read yet. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I think it's been maybe eight, nine months or a year even since I've done a tag video. And I have to hang up because we're about to go play PS4 as a family over Zoom. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.